Good morning, guys. I hope you're ready. We're gonna bail this hay today. It's gonna be a wild ride. So to give you guys an update, if you didn't already, go ahead over and watch my short from yesterday. I was showing that I went out here and tedded this field here, the seven acres at my parents uh, yesterday morning while the dew was still on it, just to try and keep some of those leaves on from the clover. And then later in the day, we loaded up the tractor and the tedder and took it back over to the blacks. So that's where I'm heading right now. I'm gonna ted that out and then we're gonna have to bring the tractor back over here and get the rake and baler ready. All right guys, so I wanted to take a second here and actually explain to some of you out there that might be thinking, what is this crazy thing that you have out there just spinning around like crazy and I don't even know what it's doing? Well, the main job of the tedder is to take the hay, pick it up, turn it completely over, and now we're going to have a nice fluffed up hay and it's going to let that air through it and dry. So take a look at, I just went down this stretch right here and Take a look at how green this is and how fluffed up and messed up it looks, right? That's exactly what we want. Well, this isn't like the best time to do this because I've already tedded it once. This is the second time and I'm tedding it the second time because of how thick it is. So you can see in this pass here, which I'm getting ready to come down, it's browner, but here's where the green comes in. right there right underneath here this grass here is it's still pretty tough and it's really green obviously and then you have this stuff on top that's nice and crispy and obviously it's browner because it's it's drier um, for hay we want it to be somewhere in the mid teens as far as percentage of moisture goes we actually have a a moisture tester um, you can you can take a wad of this hay and actually shove it down in a five gallon bucket and they have a probe that you can stick down in there and it can test the moisture before you go ahead and put it into a bale it may save you some time um, or the tester that I have is actually a long probe you may have seen it in my previous videos from last year but essentially I stick that probe into a bale and it tests the moisture in that bale so Anyways, just want to take that time and show you guys that. If you guys have any other questions about what I'm doing, love to answer those comments. So go ahead and do that below. Hey, and if you haven't yet, smash that subscribe button for me. Just got done tedding. It's 9.24. So about 9.30 and I'm going to get this thing cleaned off, get both the tractor and the tether loaded on the trailer. Shoo. Ramp's heavy. Okay, it's 10 o'clock. Heading back to my parents. Time to unload. Hi. 
Hi, Cammy. What are you doing? Finish this down. You need what down? Yeah. The ramp? Yeah. Okay, come here. Are you boys fighting over putting the ramp down? I'm going to do it. Alright, well how about one of you do it part way and the other one do it the other way. Someone has to put it down and somebody's going to put it up, okay? Can I do it? Can I do it? Can I do it? Okay. Can I do it? Cammie asked first, Weston. Uh, <laughs> over there. <laughs> A little bit more. That's good. Good job. Hey, bud. was that was that ramp heavy? Hey, look at the camera. Was that ramp heavy? Yeah. <laughs> Chase. Oh, hey, Chase. You like Chase. Chase. Oh, you like Are you helping, bud? Oh, you like what do you see? Oil. Oil. Yeah. Look. Daddy's got a hydraulic oil leak. We definitely have a hydraulic leak underneath the tractor, so when I get it off of here, I'm definitely gonna have to fill up hydraulic oil. And then I'm gonna have to dig around in there and see what the world it is. I think it's the diff lock valve that's above the rear end, so I just don't know what exactly is leaking on it because it's up in there. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be fun. Get in fuel. It's up under my seat or above that valve, actually. Uh, hard to see, but there is a there's a puddle of oil right here, and that valve is right up underneath here. So I'm gonna take this seat out and maybe this cover here too depending on what's all involved there, but it's gotta be all up on top here. We found it. It's the uh, main hydraulic feed fitting that goes into my valve block for my rear remotes and well, all my hydraulics for the loader and everything so watch this yikes okay i finally got a good wrench on it i think it's gonna be good Time to get the rake. You guys are about dead on battery, so I'm gonna charge you while I service the rake and get out there. I love her. 
so I just got done raking and uh, I come to pull the rake up here and go to stop in the yard and my brake pedal goes straight to the floor I got no brakes and then as I slowed to a stop here in the yard I noticed uh, that there was like a, a burning smell and I come back here and the hydraulics are just good night everything is stupid hot so um i don't know if you can see this actually i just took this off to check the oil and then to top it off but can you see the can you see that steam coming out of there so i'm gonna unhook this rake after i get some gloves grab onto those hoses and I'm gonna get this tractor backed over here in the shade and get a fan on this thing to cool it down. Good thing about uh, bailing is that we only need the PTO. So as long as there's enough oil in there for uh, the PTO gearbox, you know, I think we're gonna be okay, I hope. Um, I did check as I was going through the field and I'd look down right on the right side of my seat. I can actually, ugh, I can actually see that fitting that I had tightened up and I never did see it, uh, leaking. So I'm not exactly sure why everything is, is getting hot because honestly we were only out there raking for an hour. So, uh, I'm going to get this rake unhooked and get to looking and see what's going on here. Just got the baler serviced. Now I'm gonna check out the tractor. Got the fan running on it. Had the hose running on it for a while, trying to cool it down. Uh, gonna load it up with hydraulic oil again and start it up and see if it's any better. If not, I have my neighbor down the road across the street. He is gonna come down with his uh, 2755 uh, as a backup. So, oh man. A wrench in the plans that you never really plan for okay so I didn't realize when I took the camera off the charger that I didn't have the microphone plugged in right so I'm actually recording this uh, while I'm watching it back um, at this point i would gotten the neighbors 2755 hooked up um, showing that I had just got done greasing everything on the baler and I ran the chains, made sure everything was oiled, and this tractor is something that I've never ran, but fortunately it is a similar platform as mine. So I just got started bailing at this point, and I am already having issues. Just pulling the baler out for the first time, I don't recall having any issues at the end of last year but I do notice that all the issues are on the right nodder and I think it's got something to do with bill hook tension at this point because the knot is hanging up so after running some more bales I slowed down and it seems like it's helping the baler at this point but I'm not completely sure. I'm gonna check some weight on the bales just to make sure where we're at. You can look at the screen on the scale and it reads 52 pounds. So pretty happy with that weight. The hay is absolutely beautiful through here. Super clean, thick, Timothy. I'm bailing with purple twine through here and then when I move up into 
the north five acres, that's when I end up switching over to the blue twine. We got two acres of the Timothy baled, and now we're coming up here into the upper five acres with the orchard grass and clover. And I'm, I'm still struggling here. I'm, I even got it in the lower gear where it was doing good. Um, we just now switched over to the blue twine since we're out of the Timothy. Uh, the Timothy I left purple color coding stuff this year and uh, just switched over to the blue and my knots are not getting cut real good on this side. So they're hanging up on the bill hook. I'm thinking um, they're not getting cut all the way. That's why they're hanging up on there. So uh, my wife's gonna run me down a file and I'm gonna try and file this knife on this right side and see if that can't fix it because I'd really like to kick it up a gear. It's 10 till six right now and uh, I got five acres to go. So fun stuff. I wish I could get more footage for you guys, but sorry, you guys are second priority to uh, actual making hay. No offense. Eight o'clock, I'm calling it quits. I'm just uh, spinning my wheels out here. So uh, obviously we had tractor problems today and we also had baler problems. So my right knotter knife is slightly bent. And when it's slightly bent, when that knife comes through to cut the twine, it's on an angle and it comes through and sometimes it doesn't get all of the twine so what ends up happening is that hangs up on the bill hook because it's not cut and well you end up getting this right here lots of them like you might go 10 bales if you're lucky most of the time it was five bales so that's where i'm at uh uh, I'm like I said, I'm just spinning my wheels out here trying to clean up with a baler that's still broke So I'm bailing up broke bales that are coming out broke Yeah, sorry a uh, little a little negative, but <laughs> It's the frustrations of it uh, So Ross from Franklin County Forge has the part that I need he's down about 45 minutes from here, so I Just got bailed all I could I got through all the windrows, but now I just have a field full of busted bales. So, you know, six to one, half a dozen to the other. You wanna just leave, get all the bales up that you can and then go back through and clean up. Yeah, uh, hindsight, I, I kinda wish I just would've left the hay, fix the baler and then come through because now if you look out through here, I have two, three, four broken bales per windrow all scattered out instead of nice windrows that I could have just probably turned over tomorrow uh, tomorrow afternoon so you know it's all part of it uh, we're in for a, a late night just picking up bales and getting them put in the barn so tomorrow we still have the blacks to do so uh, I gotta I'm gonna get up early uh, probably go down to Ross's and get this part and uh, I'll let you guys see the part that we're gonna be fixing because it's kind of hard to see. It's back behind all of this. You can flip this up. You can see it a little bit better, but it's not that easy to change. It's a small part. It's only this big um, and it's a razor blade. It's really thin, but these old style ones, they're riveted on. So you need to take a grinder and grind those off. And the new ones have quarter 20 bolts and nuts. So anyways, that's what I'm up against. So we just got done picking up out of the field and we got the smaller trailer loaded with a hundred bales out of the field and then the rest is just scattered out busted bales but I wanted to before I let you guys go I wanted to show you what our issue was so can you see the angle of this plate right here and how this knife is coming downwards it's not level with it you can tell right here right there at the tip of my finger something at some point hit that and ended up bending the tip of that knife down so the reason why I couldn't change it out was these 
old styles, like I said, are riveted on. You can see the rivets there. So I'm gonna need to come in here with my grinder and grind these off. And then this little plate here and that knife come off. And I'm either gonna go to the New Holland dealer tomorrow morning, first thing, and grab a couple of those, because they'd be good to have on hand. And uh, get that changed. Then I gotta decide what I'm gonna do with equipment. My tractor's broke down. I'm using the neighbor's equipment. Uh, so I'm gonna have to haul that tractor over on the gooseneck to the blacks. And then I can come back, pull the rake over there, come back, pull the baler over there, and get started out there. So that's the plan for tomorrow. I think the weather is actually going to hold off another day. So Tuesday, I think I'm just going to mess around with what's left out here in the field and just tet it out and then come back through a few hours later and rake it and bring the baler out and zigzag through the field. So that's the plan. Uh, sorry, it wasn't maybe as exciting as a, as a smooth night uh, would have been uh, or, you know, I guess it's just it's good to show you guys that it's not all flowers and butterflies <laughs> you know it's not just get rich quick that's for sure I mean you have ups and you have downs this is definitely a down so thank you guys for watching smash that subscribe button give me a thumbs up I appreciate you guys the channel's growing my mind is pretty well blown uh, I'm thankful that you guys are, are watching and please comment comment below let me know what you guys want to see let me know what you like what you don't like and uh hey we're gonna be back at it first thing tomorrow morning so stay tuned for another one